Hello friends, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today we will see actually what Nifty says for uh, tomorrow that is Monday on uh, 23rd of January. So we will just have a look on Nifty Bank Nifty what exactly they are telling. Friends if you really ask me here actually although you know on weekly charts this actually I am taking weekly chart 6 months weekly chart. This normally I take 9 months but in 6 months sometimes the clarity in the end is more. Therefore, I take six months and this is six months chart. So you can see, you know, that uh, move, di direction of moving average fine is uppish. But actually, this is uh, on the wrist watch. If you see, this is between, uh, say, roughly about 10, 14. So it is actually not very encouraging. So I will say for, to, for Monday, uh, Bank Nifty may be slightly supporting uh, Nifty. The chart is not very encouraging. And uh, at the same time, friends, let us check also what it says, you know, on the daily chart. On daily chart, Nifty is giving mildly up. Again, it is just the same thing as in the uh, uh, weekly chart. Daily and weekly charts are almost saying the same thing. So let us leave it that uh, that Nifty is mildly, Nifty Bank is uh, mildly positive. And if we say total Nifty. Friends here, if we say total Nifty, this actually Nifty, uh, Bank Nifty chart was better. Although the red uh, moving average of 2 is uppish, but it is not uh, on the wrist watch, it is not 10-10, but it is somewhere about 10-13, 10-14. So, as far as uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty is concerned, from this it appears that there will be a mild plus with uh, nifty it could be ending mildly plus also i will say because uh, the parallel lines have been drawn of both uh, price line and the moving average of two so let's see because in one day nothing will happen so i feel that it will be uh, mildly up on uh, 23rd then friends we just check this uh, along with the daily chart also what uh, it says on the daily chart and daily chart also is you know on the downside so you know on the weekly chart is a stronger chart always so tomorrow uh, the uh, nifty actually will go up even bank nifty also will go up because i say why it is because the results you know of icici bank are fairly good now this bank nifty and nifty we just try and correlate with the international uh, clues and if we see here friends dow jones this is dow jones the uh, futures is 331 plus almost you can see here this is uh, 331 plus so international clues as of now they are quite strongly supporting uh, or i i should say the international uh, clues tomorrow may be little strongly supporting um, nifty uh, therefore uh, it should open in the positive but these are foreign uh, uh, these uh, future data anything can happen but still take my word nifty tomorrow will be mildly up or there will be uh, see uh, actually if you see the chart they are not actually uh, I will not say they are but they are actually bearish actually they are bearish but on weekly chart they are showing some strength so you know the weekly chart is always stronger so they, I think they will go up tomorrow okay uh, tomorrow supported by <coughs> Dow Jones future now friends I want to discuss with you a strategy of nifty for the swing traders fine so let us check this strategy how it works uh, earlier friends I was doing you know researches about uh, 15 20 years back I was doing uh, researches so you know um, in my research it, it came that in one year or say in one uh, every 52 days the nifty actually comes at RSI 30 but this time this year it has come on 1 2 3 4 5 this means nifty has touched RSI 30 every 73rd day this you can see here 30, uh, 73rd day now what does it mean for a swing trader whenever nifty touches 
RSI 30, it does not stay for a long time and then it goes up. It does not stay for a long time, it goes up. It does not stay on a uh, uh, long time and it goes up. And this you can see here, the Nifty was in overbought zone for quite some time. And here also Nifty came here, it went up, it came here, again it will go up. Five times, that means that recently in the month, if you see here 26 January, you know it has come to RSI 30. From there it went up, went up, went up, it could come down, but eventually it will go up. Now whenever Nifty is, at least Nifty is giving five times opportunity to swing traders, because Nifty means what? If Nifty is down, all the stocks will be down. Even the bank Nifty also will be down. Fine. This, this means that Nifty gives a grand buying opportunity for all swing trading people. It comes, at, it is coming five times, sometimes it comes six times in a day. Seventh time it has never come. Okay, so every two months on an average or every 52 days and now you can say 73 days this time, Nifty is giving buy opportunity. One must really, really utilize. Friends, whenever Nifty is at RSI 30, it goes and touches the over uh, bot zone, touches over bot zone, touches over bot zone and still it will touch over bot zone. So we uh, see at present Nifty is 47, 47.35. Uh, therefore, still there are, you know, about 23 points up. So be happy every, seven, uh, every uh, 73 days or whenever Nifty touches RSI 30, Mind you, it is a grand, grand buying opportunity for everyone. And if you happen to have good stock with you, fundamentally strong stock with you, fine, friends, you will make lot of money. <coughs> I should, uh, okay, I will say you will make tons of money as I normally say. Share market has tons of tons of money. You cannot imagine if you trade rightly. So that's all for the day, friends. Uh, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Be in the stock market. <coughs> Sorry. Be in the stock market with me. And uh, often we'll be checking what happens to the market at the same time, how best we can make money in the stock market. Thank you very much.